up a chair or an old truck tire get yourself around that old trash fire well the door's never locked so there's no reason to knock it's time for trailer talk oh yes it's time for trailer talk maybe you heard that old saying how people say time heals all wounds or something like that well i tell you it's been two weeks since the storm and and one thing that ain't healed is my muddy t-shirts. I tell you, a boy's shirt ain't supposed to button on the right side of him. Meemaw said maybe another week or so I can get some of my shirts back. She's been scrubbing out some of them muddy stains. One thing I learned is that you don't want to keep all your good shirts in the cardboard box by that wall heater. That anything that's close to the floor and, and, and kind of flood and wet season is going to get pretty wet. But that ain't the half of it. Today was a big day in town. My cousin Misty Joe, she's an artist. She's been in town, what she does now, right now. In the spring, she's been painting the windows for businesses. You know how people say 99 cents for a hamburger, a dollar oh three for a milkshaker, you know, things like that. Well, she's at the postal annex, you know, where they you put things in a package and they'll mail it off for you. You can have a little box, P.O. box up there. And it does all kinds of things. Well, she was doing a beautiful, a beautiful, like all American thing right on there on their window. You know, it's a beautiful ball legal with like an American flag. And then his little claw over here, he's holding a postage stamp. All these people are standing in line in the picture she drew and they're happy as can be. One gal's got a little postcard and one guy's got a little letter. Nobody got like a package they're gonna, they're gonna mail out to somebody and somebody got this and somebody got that and she painted it all. She painted her little faces, little smile, looked like they were really smiling. One little kid looked like he really was holding a lollipop, looked just like a lollipop. Like I think a couple of kids that were going to the postal annex with the folks tried to lick the lollipop that was on the window. That's how good she is. And I promise you I ain't lying when I tell you there was a line halfway around that postal annex this afternoon not to mail a letter but to meet my cousin Misty Joe and shake her hand because she did a beautiful portrait. Michelangelo probably never thought about painting a Bald eagle with an American flag and a postage stamp with a line of happy kids and happy adults mailing all packages at a postal annex. Boy, Mr. Joe did. But I'll be dog if what happened when a couple of kids weren't pushing in line waiting to see her and, and one of them uh, pushed the other one through the front of the plate glass window and broke off half the mural. Just about half the mural got broke off today. And I got back to the trailer and Mima loves Mr. Joe. But Mima uh, used to used to make all kinds of arts and crafts and Mr. Joe's inspired her. And that's a hard thing to do because when Mima says I'm done with something, she's done with it. I told her what happened and Mima said, well, why didn't somebody yank them boys by the shirt collar and tell them what for and get them out of there? I said, Mima, them boys didn't have on any shirts. But Mr. Joe, uh, they're gonna put a new plate glass in and she, she said she'll go ahead and finish that mural again. And some artists, you think, well, they did it once, they ain't gonna be able to do it again, she'll do it again. She can paint windows, she can crochet, she can knit. So I'm hoping another week or two of this borrowed clothes stuff is gonna be over and I can get back to living life with a little bit more dignity. So we're kind of easing back into everything now, which I think is good. And then Meemaw's making a big cake just to celebrate how smart Misty Joe is. And we're going to eat that tonight. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs>